Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're actually going to talk about the Seven Artisans 10 millimeter T 2.1 City Lens. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is what we're talking about today: the Seven Artisans 10 millimeter T 2.1 City Lens. Now. Let me get this out of the way. I bought and I paid for this with my own money. Seven Artisans did not send it to me. So they don't, they do not have privy to this review. This is my own review. It is not going to be a technical review at all. I'm just going to tell you my use cases of it and what I think of it as of right now. Okay, let's get into it. It is an all metal construction, just like their last Cindy Lens line. For the vision series which i've got three of those and they are outstanding lenses now this one has 10 blades inside so it's a little bit different for that they've sacrificed it down to a t 2.1 but i played with it already at t 2.1 and it it's not bad it was a little soft in the corners for my taste it will be video clips from my real estate work and some of my trip down to Georgia so you can see and I'll also include some fun little video I shot to make it like cinematic of of this lens so I'm just gonna set this down for now so as you can see you'll see it sitting back behind me now so really let's just talk about it it's it's a good lens like I said all metal construction 10 blades uh, t2.1 to uh, t22 so the last one went down to T16, so that gives you a little extra stop, which is kind of nice. Now, the other difference is, is if you're buying or you have bought the other ones, you are going to experience a filter thread change. The last series was an 82 millimeter. This one is a 77, and I think that goes through all the entire six lens series for the Hope series, which this is the Hope series. But... Like I said, I digress. I've I've really shot this a lot at T2.8, and you'll see there will be some transitions from inside to outside from when I was in Georgia. But I did make sure to actually give this lens a run for its money and put it under some stress because it was a nice, bright, sunny day with a lot of clouds. So it was... Actually, I think that one during that was actually stopped down all the way down to T22. So I had to adjust. So most everything that was outside was was roughly at T22. And everything else inside was at about T... Is it anywhere between 2.1 and 2.8. Which, to me, they came out great. You'll see all the footage here shortly. But I will say, if you're going to use this as a real estate lens... Uh, depending on your native ISO for your cameras, it's just going to pick, you're going to have to pick your, your T-stop. But for me, since I'm shooting uh, the X-H2S for video, uh, the native ISO starts at 1250. So normally I just leave it at, at 1250 and I'll set it to T2.8. Now the reason being for this lens is the fact that I've been shooting on the Laowa uh, F2.8, which great lens, hands down beautiful lens but for my taste it's just a little bit too light on the uh, on the body and on the gimbal and sometimes I will get the micro jitters which I don't like so I've gone to this lens and so far the only time I get jitters is when I'm messing with the gimbal and I haven't put my uh, put my handles on them which I will recommend when you're messing with cinema lenses and all manual focus when you're on a smaller body this is just my take on it but i would recommend putting a uh, a grip arm on there or a briefcase handle or the dual handle systems from like small rig which i just used and some of the footage today i actually used it and it came out so so much better a lot more control and you actually have the control on the on your grip as well for at t28 i gotta say the vignetting is really not noticeable and there's also really no uh no degradation no fringing no nothing i mean it's for me 
it's pretty sharp corner to corner from all four corners. So I'm completely happy with that. I mean, if you look at some other reviews, they're going to say pretty much zero distortion and they're not, they're not lying. I mean, it only gets better once you start top stopping down. And I'd say, you know, F 16 is, it might start losing just a little, even at F 22, but it's not really that, noticeable i mean you know unless you're really critical on everything and if you're just doing for youtube videos or like mls or anything it's not really going to be that big of a deal to use this is pretty much my review of the lens if you've got any questions feel free put the um put a question down below you know leave a comment i'll do my best to answer it uh can't guarantee i'm going to get back to you on every single one of them but if I can answer the question, I'll answer the question. And if I can't, I'll find you an answer. If not, I'll let you know that I do not know the answer. But hey, this is what these videos are for. They're informative. They're information. It's for us to uh, to talk back and forth. So do me a favor. If you like the video, just hit, hit the bell notification down below to be notified. Hit subscribe. And, you know, hey, so now let's take a look at the clips I've got selected. Welcome back. Well, I hope y'all like those. And like I said, I shot those with a mixture of real estate here and then my trip down to Georgia last month. So hope you like those. If you got any questions, comments, like I said, leave them below. Again, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for when I do make posts. And for now, that's all I've got. Everybody have a good one and I'll see you on the next one.